So here I have a, uh, a box of cereal. Um, and we're going to look at the ingredients of this cereal and see what we can recognize. All right. So here are the ingredients. And there are a few things that I want to bring to your attention. All right. First of all, we have um, zinc oxide. So we could write a formula for zinc oxide. Um, there's no Roman numerals there because zinc always has a positive 2 charge. It's an exception to the rule for transition metals having variable charges. Um, so zinc 2 uh, has a positive 2 charge and the oxide is a negative 1, I mean a negative 2, so that's ZNO. All right, next, folic acid. Okay, I just wanted to point out the anion that this comes from would be what? What would the name of that anion be? Okay, you'll notice it ends in ic acid, so that means the, name, the anion name ends in ATE. So in this case, it would be the folate ion. Okay, that's um, an organic um, ion, much like the acetate ion. All right, but there's one other ingredient here that I want to look at. You'll notice here it says reduced iron. Now, what would reduced iron be? Okay, um, obviously there's some iron here, but what does it mean that it's reduced iron? Okay, so you think about the uh, the charges available to iron. It can be either plus two or plus three, okay? Um, and if you take iron metal and it goes through a reaction and becomes a positive two or a positive three charge, what's happening? It loses electrons, right? The negative, the loss of that negative charge from the electron makes it positive, and its oxidation number increase, or we say it's oxidized, right? So reduced iron is none other than just iron metal. So according to this uh, ingredients list, the cereal has iron metal or iron filings in it. Okay, so I'm going to test this out because iron filings are um, uh, attracted to a magnet, right? So let's, uh, let's see what we can do with this. All right, so here I have some of the cereal in a little um, plate, and I have a magnet, okay? Now I've just wrapped a little plastic around this, some plastic wrap around this uh, series of magnets, actually, so that the uh, any iron filings won't stick um, to my magnets. But uh, you'll notice, well, it doesn't seem to be attracted to a magnet, right? But um, perhaps that's because there's too much um, weight of the wheat and it can't lift up on it, okay? So what we can do is uh, crush this cereal and see if we can't collect any, all right? So I'm going to crush this and, um, and then see if we can collect some. And here's just a uh, close-up shot. You can see um, clearly how the um, piece of cereal is attracted to the magnet. Just touch it to it and the cereal is drawn up. <laughs> Alright, so this is just a fun little um, experiment to illustrate the form of iron in this particular cereal.